Hi everyone. This is Handicrafts. Okay, today we are going to put some. We are starting with some uh, acrylic pouring painting. Okay, so I've just finished with one, and it is like this. It has come out like this. Can you see the colors? It's kept for drawing. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is the <clears throat> other canvas I have. So I have some colors. Let me show you the colors. Okay, these are the colors I'm dealing with. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be using it today. Okay, so <clears throat> now what are the colors? Fine. Let me tell you the colors. These are the basically okay acrylic colors. Can you see this? From Hobby Ideas, I am not promoting any company. It's just that whatever I have, I'm just showing it to you. You can use any of the acrylic colors. <coughs> and another thing, as I was running short of the <coughs> the acrylic colors uh, of, of blue, so this I have used from the small bottle you get, a very tiny one. Let me show you that. Okay, this is the one I have taken because I was not having that big one. So as it is the same thing, so <coughs> you can always use that. Now, what I have done is, I have added little water because this was very thick. I hope you can see. This was very thick. To make it into a pouring consistency, what I did, I just added some water to it and coconut oil. You can use any coconut oil. I used this parachute coconut oil and uh, there is no uh, uh, exact quantity or any proportion to be used so what i did i just added that little bit and saw how it was like you know coming out and then i added some fevicol this is the normal fevicol mr which i have used i have just added into all these okay so the ingredients or whatever the material i'm using that you can find in the description box and uh, let's start with it now i'll start pouring one by one okay i'll just remove the ice cream sticks please make it sure that you keep all your things before you start anything <coughs> put <coughs> i'm sorry uh, excuse me uh, for each color you should have a separate stick okay okay now let before i do this i would like to thank my friend ruchi gupta who has really guided me in coming out for the uh, for this beautiful art as i was already thinking about making a pouring art uh, pouring uh, painting acry acrylic pouring uh, painting but uh, i was not very sure of the of the things from where i would get it so i was just going through all the as you know that everything is available in the net i was trying to find out but there were so many things uh, involved in all these uh, colors that i was really getting confused whether i should i should do it or not so as usual my friend ruchi gupta who's an who's a big artist he really helped me and uh, uh, and he helped me in getting the hints so i'm um, drawing out with her hints and my uh, <laughs> little uh, new inventions you should say maybe once once i finish i will tell you few more tips okay so let's start with this dark boring color it looks like uh, like the geru you use it for uh, for the pots okay now this is on a stand okay this i have kept it as a stand this was a old box i have just kept it as a stand. and you can see the mess here what i did for the previous coloring that's okay you can always go for it mess is okay yeah now i'll just start pouring just pour it in a direction whichever you feel is comfortable as i have to finish all the color so i'm just trying to cover up max maximum okay you can put some colors like this there's no problem i just wait for the color to come down 
that's okay now after putting all the colors i had just tried to bend this down and like this you know but this time i'm think planning to have some some different technique so let's let's put this yellow now there is no technique for this it's all like you know the more you make it the more designs you will get into your head how to pour it or something like that but i am just trying it and this is my first attempt so i really don't know what it is going to come like so you people can try your own ideas now it's already looking very nice so now i'm going to put a very bright color and that will be something like this yes it's looking very beautiful okay okay actually the camera is not giving doing justice with my colors the color is so beautiful maybe i can show you in the light no it's not seen that well see it's it's showing orange but it's not orange it's blood red maybe i just switch on the light no it's still not seen the color which it is actually okay now what i will do is this time i am not going to uh hold it and spread it like this i am planning to try a new technique maybe i just do it like this no okay okay let's try you just have to keep rolling and rolling and rolling it's really very difficult to ca capture in the camera but i'm just trying maybe you can see let it be if it's falling down no problem let it fall let it fall okay and i'm trying hard to cover up the full area with less of wastage can you see the color is just sweeping down yes every time you do something the new colors will come so just keep going i really don't know what is the exact technique but i'm just doing of my of my choice the my art of pouring you just keep covering up the whole area wherever you find the gap the white is there it's not necessary that you have to put white all over you can always leave it You can leave that area. You can leave that area as white. Okay, I'm back with the output. I hope you can see. So this is the color. Maybe we can start this. I'll just leave it for 24 hours. I think the these colors are not giving justice to my camera. Come out very well, guys. And this is the previous one. Okay. So I'll just leave these here and this, and come back to you tomorrow. After twenty-four hours, we are going to work on this again. Bye bye.